Heads up everyone, I'm Heather Jim 2018, but today you can call me Adam because we are doing some live recordings and it's going to be fun. I wanted to do this for a while um, and the voices are great tonight. My vocal cords are all warmed up and we're ready to roll, ready to rumble. As Optimus Prime would say, Autobots roll out! <laughs> Without further ado, uh, today I'm going to be doing some voice impressions and it's going to be Hugo Weaving Megatron for the first three Transformer films. Optimus Prime, Peter Cullen, of course. Then we have Starscream, because of course some of the lines from the Transformer movies, Michael Bay. <sighs> Not everybody likes it, but I do. It was a big part of my childhood. <sighs> Let me see, what else? Like maybe some Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Like we can't forget about him, man. Like his name's... <laughs> but yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm starved right now. He's cool. Real. Right, you go for like a super duper shaggy sandwich. Like, that's my thing, Scoob. That's not cool. Roll, Raggy. But I'm starving. Like, me too. Like, we better stop talking and start eating. Roll, boy. Real delicious. Okay. I live to serve you, Lord Megatron. Where is the cube? The humans have taken it. You fail me yet again, Starscream. Get them! Alright, now let's do a really good line from Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. When Megatron is revived, and he greets Starscream, or vice versa. Ah, my master is so relieved to have your revival. You left me to die on that insect planet. Only to raise a new army, the fallen decrees it. Even in death, there is no command but mine. <laughs> Dramatic acting is, is really, really fun. You really have to get into character. So prepare to get spooked, because this is one of the ones where I really, really get into character. Because to do it right... You have to portray the character in a little bit of way. You have to, a little bit of uh, rasp, a little bit of growl, a little bit of the voice, and then a little bit of crazy. Mix it all up, and you get this. Humans don't deserve to live. They deserve to choose for themselves. Then you'll die with them. Join them in extinction. And then, you know, like, he does a stance and he's like, can and it's like, horrible sound effects. But yeah, really at the end of the character. And if I wasn't on my knees so I could record, <laughs> I would have stood up and gotten to do like a stance and stuff, which is what I normally do. But yeah, really got to get into character for that one. So yeah, more voice impressions. Let's do it. All right, man, like it's time for the scary voices to take a break because it's time for like a cartoon favorite, like everybody's friend, Scooby-Doo. Hello, everybody. Like, man, like I haven't eaten in like an hour, man. Like I'm so hungry. Real, yeah, do. Like I bet, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my God, I was gonna like, ugh. So much fun doing this. Like, okay. <clears throat> Like, okay, Scooby-Doo, you'll be out there as Prime, and I'll be Megatron, okay? Well, okay. Run this day. One shall stand, one shall fall. Like, now that I think about it, maybe that doesn't work. Well, Like, you're just hard to understand, Scoob, it's not your fault. Yeah, thanks, Reggie. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Which I do. Here's you've been living two lives, Mr. Anderson. As you can see now, Mr. Anderson, we've had our eye on you for some time now. In one life, you're a respectable software, you're a software writer for a respectable company. And in another, you are, you pay your taxes and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. Going to be as forthcoming as I can be, Mr. Anderson. We know you've been in contact with the terrorist Morpheus. My colleagues believe that I am wasting my time, but deep down I feel like you want to do the right thing. Oh 
Oh boy. This is fun. This is this is a lot of fun though. It really is. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? The girl who has everything. Look at this trove. Treasures are told. How many wonders can one cupboard hold? Looking around here you think. Sure, I've got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? Ha, I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. And I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those. What do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a... What's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could live out of these? Waters. What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet you on land they understand that they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of women, ready to stand and ready to know what the people know. Ask some of my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why is it? What's the word burn? When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore that shore up above? Out of the sea, wish I Wow, first ever live recording for a song. That was fun. And the vocal cords are really good, so hopefully that sounded good. Something different. <laughs> like it's definitely different, man. Like what the fuck was that, Scoob? I don't know. Like I can't even believe my ears. There's a cat below me. <laughs> like don't worry, Scoob. Like just leave it alone and you'll it will leave you alone. Okay. Oh. That, that felt good. I am extremely proud of my soprano chord, soprano chords, um, the abilities uh, that I can do with my voice. And uh, once again, it leads to uh, Scooby-Doo. Oh boy! All of that is like uh, a mix of rasp mixed into um, the actual like, oh. so <laughs> I mix that in and you get the, oh, oh. Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Right, and that's the high part. So if I can't like sing, like I wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna sing a song. It's gonna be great. I'm like, oh, and I'm just like, and it's like cracking. I'm not good at doing it, but like, uh, there are times where I want to sing, and it just like, or it just hisses of air. <laughs> it's not like a fucking rattle. I was like, it's like a. Anyway, um, so so my normal voice, because my voice didn't mature, I created this voice um, to fit in and and actually sound like a guy. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I can do great things with it, you know, I could do duets myself, you know, and I'm very proud of that. And, uh, you know, I'm no Nick Patera, but, um, or like some of those guys who can like sing in chick voices and like hold all the notes and just sound like incredible. I, I can sound really good on my good days, uh, but it also comes down to the fact where I don't understand how to sing for the diaphragm. I'm still trying to learn that. I never really got that down or like really understand it 
And since I don't understand it, it's not like I can practice. So I pretty much do it out of breath, like in that little part of your world song, just on the spot. There were times where I was like trying to hold the notes to like the rest of the sounds good. I gotta keep going. And I don't wanna be like, oh, 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 and then like pass out on the floor. like. So, um, so yeah, there's that. You know, this, might, this brings back memories, uh, crouching on the floor when I started my YouTube channel <laughs> and like I had my phone right here. Um, I had my phone, right? And I'd be like, uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta hold it up as this. <sighs> like, it's like, don't shake. And literally, I, I held my phone up in front of my TV and, uh, uh, you know, to record Hill Ridge gameplay to show off my maps um, when I started the channel. And then I created a Lego camera stand and that literally enabled me to prop up the phone. I just press the button, boom, and record. So yeah, you gotta be innovative when you don't know shit and you have to learn everything yourself. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like that. Uh, I know they're like, oh, head on to do like a, a face reveal or do like um, live recordings. <laughs> I gotta say, I didn't know it would be this easy to set up and how much fun it would be. So absolutely great. Um, and it's great doing the voice impressions. And if I have only been doing this for like a year at the most, I just, I never imagined, I wish I had gotten into it when I was younger, when I was still in high school. Cause like, who knows all of the voices I could do by now. I mean, I'm 21. So that was, all, that was like well, quite a few years ago. So, you know, um, but yeah, I just so determined, uh, watching Akeem Lawson, Shaggy, Shaggy prank calls Papa John's pizza. And uh, it was just so entertaining. And I was just like, like I gotta learn a good Shaggy impression, man. Like I don't care, I don't care how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna do a great Shaggy one day, isn't that right, Scoob? That's right, Raggy. Like with enough practice and determination, like you can do anything you put your mind to. Like unless you can't like actually do like a voice close to the voice you wanna do. And then it sounds like shit. Or like you just don't have the voice at all and then there's nothing to work with. And if that's the case, then you're screwed, man. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> But uh, my Shaggy uh, sounds the most like the Scott Inns Shaggy. So Scott Inns is the voice actor who did a ton of voices. Uh, from what I know, he's not the original voice actor of Looney Tunes, but he can do like on-spot impressions like the actual voice actor that did. And from what I know about Looney Tunes, it was like one of those things where like, you know, like one voice actor does like a ton of Simpsons characters or things like that, where, uh, where if a voice actor is talented enough, and has enough time, they can they do like multiple characters. So they'll just record, 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 and just do like multiple characters from one show. And that's pretty much the way it was with Looney Tunes. But uh, I watched this one video on YouTube with Scott Inns, and and he showed off a bunch of his impressions and stuff. And yeah, he's the original voice of, uh, of Scrappy Doo and uh, Shaggy and Scooby Doo. Um, well, I mean not the original voice. Scooby Doo is Don Mesmick and originals Casey Kasem, but Scrappy Doo at least. I'm pretty sure. You can correct me on that, but pretty sure um but yeah and that one I, I haven't really done too much work with scrappy i don't know like because it's hard because i, I want to do scrappy's voice but i don't want to veer too much towards like shaggy puppy power scrappy dappy do let me out of uncle scoob no rappy you know you know um so it, it's difficult when you when doing that one but I, I, that sounded pretty decent i think um, it's just a matter of practicing and finding a voice you really like and that's worth the time. I'm trying to get my brother into doing Transformers impressions or something like that, like Megatron. I said, if you could do it by like Christmas time, I'll pay him like 50 bucks if you can do like a few. So that's pretty good. <laughs> but he does like all these accents and stuff. And I think him actually getting into acting and like doing plays in high school kind of also pushed me into it. Um, because I, I love cartoons. I mean, I watch a bunch of cartoons, but they were just like, oh, you see an episode or two when you like go somewhere or like you're you know and it's not like I, so now that i'm out and have all this time on my hands i just just consistently watch and i just go through it all and like well what am i watching next um a cool uh, interesting fact uh I, I don't know if this is a record or not but i watch mystery incorporated which has 52 episodes both seasons in two days <laughs> talk about binge watching a show two days 52 episodes about 20 minutes each <laughs> no commercials so do the math. It's pretty insane. I need a life. <laughs> and that's why I want to actually get into acting. Um, you know, and do things like that. Because that'd be fun. And as much as I love to sing and I have a lot of potential talent, 
um, it's not realistic. It really isn't. Um, just because, well, for one, I can't sing from the diaphragm, so I have to hold notes. Um, I don't, I doubt I have a stage performance voice, though I've never actually had a microphone and really tested and like opened, opened it up on a day like this and be like, <laughs> and like, that probably looked really weird, but I don't know because I'm looking the other way. Anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I know one of the key things when I wake up and I'm trying to do the voice and like my soprano chords. And so there's uh, the JJ uh, Abrams theme song from Star Trek, the movies and it goes like, chords are good tonight. I should do a cover. Sheesh. I swear. Um, and if you're wondering why like my eyebrows go up, it's kind of like a thing like I, I do to like make sure I hit the notes right when I when I hit the high notes and my eyebrows kind of raise. I'm like, okay, I, okay, okay. And I was like, so that's kind of like a built-in thing that I kind of do naturally now, you know, kind of like one of those habits. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, this is, this was, uh, this is, uh, this was fun. Oh, um, like everybody loves Shaggy and Scooby Doo. Uh, what other impressions did I do? Well, uh, Herbert the Pervert is is a fun one. It's not perfect, but I pretty much just use my my natural voice and and you know be like, mm, oh yeah, come on down to my basement. I got a big surprise for you. Mm, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and then because there's there's a certain thing to the Herbert the Pervert impression is like this whistling and stuff, and I can't really whistle. I can, I, I mean, I don't have to whistle because you know be like. I don't know, because I can do all those pitches and stuff, so I have such a range. It doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think it does. Um, yeah, I really don't think it does. Um, you know, like, you know, somebody somebody had a ball, and they, like, put their two things like that, and like, they're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you think you're loud? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not even trying, so. I, it's funny, because, um, cause it, like, I'll do it at a party, like, or somebody, one of, my, one of my friends online will invite me to a party, and I'm like, Yo, head out here. Do your signature scream. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. It's like, yeah, I just want to show your friend. Just want to show my friends, you know. It's like, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, since, since we're on the um the part of streaming, I mean, a uh, screaming, I should say. Uh, let's go uh to a voice that I created myself. Uh, the Demon Witch. Uh, I I have an idea. I had an idea. I'm still thinking of doing it. It's like an audio story, so it's it's not like a video, but it's something you listen to, and it's like it'd be a way, to, a great way to test my voice acting. I actually did start writing a script, and I should do it, but I developed this uh, this witch, this witch voice, um, for it, and I call it my demon witch. So since my chords are so good, I'll show it off now. I know when I first designed the voice or created the voice, it was like really hurt at the back of my throat, but I've kind of done it in a way where it doesn't hurt anymore, and I can do it like as loud and as long as I want. So it goes like this. Uh, I actually did show it off once on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but I doubt many people saw it. It was a Hill Fight Between Battle thing, and I showed off my Agent Smith impression, my Sergeant Johnson, and the Demon Witch. Yeah, so it goes like this. These are some of the actual scripts I wrote for it. Um, so, yeah. So, Shaggy and Scooby Doo, pretty much the, uh, the story is Shaggy and Scooby Doo, they're hungry, and it's, uh, you know, they they call it pizza. Like we need a pizza right away, man! Real! We're starving! And then, and then they get the, uh, you know the uh, the audio and it's like sorry you know our delivery service is closed but you know we're still open for like another half an hour and shaggy and scooby-doo are starving and they're like like we gotta go and get some food man like i don't think i'll last if i don't eat soon yeah. so the only shortcut to the place to make it in time order pizza is through a graveyard that's pretty spooky right and that's shaggy it's like like i don't know man but i'm awfully hungry like Scooby Doo, I'm in it if you're in it. Well, do it, Raggy. Okay, Scoob. Like it's agreed. Like let's just get this over with and eat. Rhyme with you. So um, so there's that, and then uh, Scooby Doo <laughs> falls into like a, like an open grave. Ouch! Like Scooby Doo, are you okay? Well, I'm okay, Raggy. Um, and then uh, and then he's like, Rome. Like, where'd you find that bone, Scoob? Like, this is a graveyard. Oh, no. Right? <laughs> and um, and then you, and then there's, like, rustle of leaves. And the cool thing is, since it's an audio story, there's, like, um, going to be, like, sound and, like, different sort of, like, things. So it's, like, it's going to be kind of like watching a cartoon, listen to a cartoon without the images. Just, like, kind of if you're going to sleep and you have something in playing in the background, whether it be music or cartoon, that, that's what it's like. 
And uh, and then the demon witch is like, Who dares awaken me from my slumber? Like Sonics? Like let's get out of here, Scoob. Right with you, Raggy. So <laughs> I would have ruined it too much, but that's kind of it. And then chasing them is like, but it's a real demon witch. And the, the script is still developing. I started that project like uh, two months ago. So I have the script on my laptop. I just want to do something with it, but I think that'd be kind of fun, and it'd be uh, be a, a good test for me to to you know try doing voice acting myself because I read the script and then I get to do it. And once again, since there's no images or anything, I get to really test portraying my emotions through the voices because that's the whole point of voice acting. <laughs> it's that you know the description is in the name. So yeah, that's the demon witch. Very, very, I do like that voice, but it's one of those things where if I'm trying to like you know. It's just cracking, and it's just not doable. Same with Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Well, Shaggy, you know, like I can always do the voice. Well, like maybe not as clear, but when I do wake up and my throat's good and all that, like I can do the voice, great A, Scoob. That's right. But Scooby-Doo, like there'll be times where like, like Shaggy sounds good today. Like what about you, Scoob? And Scooby-Doo just sounds like a fucking train wreck. Like a disaster. So this is real me. Like I could just talk and talk and talk. And the time just goes by so quickly. Yeah. <sighs> Fun stuff. So yeah, and then we got the the Matrix. Hugo Weaving. When I found out that Hugo Weaving was the actor for Agent Smith, because I was like, I wanted to learn the voice anyway, because Agent Smith is just a, a badass character. Um, and then when I found out that Hugo Weaving, the voice I already did for Megatron, was the actual voice, I was blown away. I was like, whoa, that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, and then the most famous part is like, I'd like to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when I tried to classify your species and I realized that you're not actually mammals. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. You move to an area and you multiply and multiply until every natural resource is consumed and the only way you can survive is to spread to another area. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. Human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You're a plague, and we are the cure. I love that. <laughs> it's like one of those most uh, famous, famous lines. You know, it's it's, it's great. Uh, I love I love that voice. You know, um, just love doing voice impressions. It's so much fun, and there's always new ones and trying to work. I, I remember after finishing the the original Teen Titans, uh, I wanted to do Raven's dad. What's his name again? The demon. Yeah. Raven's dad is like the demon and the, the last season of uh, Teen Titans or the last two seasons was like really dark but uh but yeah I mean yeah and I tried to do that voice but um man I, I look back at uh, my Halo 5 Warzone glitch video and that's when uh, my good friend Toxic Killer who I just trained to be a bumper jumper he's one of my more I taught him as a bumper jumper he kind of uses it on and off but um but anyway he, he was a great guy very talented um but he, has a, he did a pretty menacing Megatron. At the time, I didn't know my chest voice and I couldn't like find it and I didn't really understand that, right? And, uh, and you know, it's like, <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is great. And you're gonna be the laugh of Scooby-Doo since I haven't gotten that done yet, you know? So like, this is gonna be great. You're gonna be famous, we're gonna get famous together, right? And then, you know, determination and just finding the chest voice and then, look at me now, I'm invincible. Who dares to challenge me? So actually, I started watching Transformers Prime again, and I want to learn the Transformers Prime Megatron, um, which is kind of like a, it's Frank Welker, the original voice of Megatron from G1, and kind of like a close iteration to it, you know. Uh, it's, it's, I it's going to take time. Um, the Joker, the Joker, that's right. Um, so I watched like some podcasts on, uh, on Mark Hamill's Joker. The, that's, that's the only Joker for me. My brother does a phenomenal Keith Ledger, and I'm eventually going to learn that, but 
The real Joker for me that I am focused on mastering is the Mark Hamill Joker, the, the animated series, Batman the Brave and the Bold, which and I, I need to rewatch all that stuff to keep the voice fresh in my head and, and practice. But the hardest thing for me to do is character last. Excuse me. That's the hardest thing for me to do. It took so long to get Scooby-Doo laugh down uh, consistently. I remember when I started to do the voice, I had to like shake my head side to side, and that would kind of help. <laughs> but I, I, I still do it a little bit, but nowhere near as much. Like I'm like, Ugh, and I would just do that. <laughs> I would just do that, and that would like get me into it. And then sometimes, you know, you do what you have to do to, to do the voice. There's still a lot I don't understand about, you know, using different parts of your throat and your cords. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but there's really no other way to say it. I'd be serious about it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Alright, so let me see if I can actually do the Mark Hamill Joker right now. Let me think. Uh, oh, it's me, the Joker! You must be crazy! Oh, Batman, why such a potty pooper? I don't know. It was good, but I, it's just a matter of it's not a voice that's fresh in my head enough. Like, like Shaggy, I know that voice so well, man. Like, I just know it. Like, it's like been like part of my childhood. But like, I never seriously got into Batman until like I hit, like when I came out and I started watching all the cartoons that I actually got a kick out of. And uh, man, I, I've been, I know the voice actor, but I keep forgetting it. Is it Tom Kenny? I think it's Tom Kenny, the voice actor of Batman for the last 20 years. Um, animated series, Batman the Brave and the Bold, Killing Joke, all that stuff. And yeah, I mean, I also want to learn that voice too. Yeah. So this is this has been fun. And it, it's so hard to turn off the camera because I just go and go and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to end it, but I have to. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you did, uh, hopefully you found this entertaining. I sure as hell did. I thought it was it was great. Um, just to do the voice impressions live, and uh, and to talk, and you know, then it also connect with the viewer. You know, uh, it's always like, <laughs> it's always like, yo, what's up, everyone? It's Hunter Twenty Eighteen coming at you guys with a brand new video. And today we're gonna be looking at something like, I just that annoying repetitiveness. That's why I always try to change things up and stuff and. Uh, so yeah, it, it, I love doing voice impressions and acting stuff. And oh man, I swear, I've met some really talented people online. Some extremely talented people. And it's just so great. So hopefully you guys also liked uh, a little bit of my soprano chords. The part of your world, I think it sounded pretty good. The chords were pretty clean. Except for the points where I was like, <gasps> can I have a heart attack, man? Um, yeah, and then, and then, or like I would have screwed up a note and then it would have been like, stop. <laughs> I got I to learn how to actually cry, guys, because I don't cry. So like, I, I said this to my friends if you're not, like I got to like cut some onions up just to see what it would be like if I actually naturally cried and like, like stuff and see what would happen then. So of course, we, we started off with voice impressions, transformers, and then we just started talking about things, and who knows if it's gonna get any views, but eh, it was fun. It was really, really fun. <sighs> yeah, you guys get to see my Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, how, do you, how do you point? <laughs> there, it's there! And then <laughs> the Master Chief poster in the back, and then to the other side, we got the Comet Evolved poster, the TV. I have a very small room, but I make it work. Uh, gonna start uh, reviewing some of my displays and collectibles because I'm too old for toys. <laughs> so they're display and collectibles. Um, like my phenomenal Lego ATST behind this laptop, and uh, I just got lots of treasures all around for uh, it's a small room, but I really do make it work. I gotta get a new Halo 4 poster that's like in shreds. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you have a great day or night. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you like this sort of video, I want to know. I mean, I, I still can totally see myself doing these sort of like <laughs> vlogs. It's like, yo, Hedda, do you do a vlog? It's like, okay, wake up, uh, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Turn on the TV, <laughs> turn on the controller. Cause I got the heel flip over and that was like, it did not sound like that at all. But anyway, and then it's like, yeah, well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put on Netflix, 
I'm not gonna game. Getting invited by five people. <sighs> I guess I'm gaming. <laughs> That's my life. I'm not working and shit like that. But yeah, for the most part, gaming 24 seven, always online, let's hang out. And now you get to see what I look like and connect with me and uh, see what it's like when I do the impressions uh, behind the mic, microphone, you know, kind of like a backstage look. And like I said, there'll be uh, reviews on uh, my toys and I mean, my collectibles. <laughs> They're not toys because they just stay there as display pieces. Um, yeah. Have a great day or night. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.